The Trident D-5 missile, known officially as the UGM-133A, remains one of the most formidable elements of the United Kingdom's nuclear deterrent. In 2026, as global defense landscapes continue to shift, this missile still stands as the backbone of Britain's continuous at sea deterrence program. Deployed aboard the Vanguard class submarines, and soon to be joined by the new Dreadnought class, the Trident D-5 continues to serve as the ultimate insurance policy against existential threats. To understand why the Trident D-5 still commands such respect nearly four decades after its first deployment, we need to look at what makes it extraordinary. Each missile is an intercontinental, submarine-launched ballistic missile, powered by three solid-fuel rocket stages. It can carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, often referred to as MIRVs. These warheads can be directed towards separate targets hundreds or even thousands of miles apart. With a range exceeding 7,500 miles, the D-5 gives the United Kingdom the ability to reach virtually any point on Earth from the depths of the ocean. By 2026, the system has undergone a series of life extension programs. The D-5LA, or Life Extension Variant, incorporates modern guidance systems, improved propulsion, and updated electronics designed to remain reliable well into the 2040s. This is crucial, because replacing such a system isn't a simple task. Developing a brand new missile of this class would take decades and cost tens of billions of pounds. Instead, both the United States and the United Kingdom have chosen to modernize their existing Trident stockpiles, maintaining capability while improving reliability and accuracy. On the British side, Trident is operated exclusively by the Royal Navy. At any given time, one Vanguard-class submarine remains on continuous patrol, a policy known as Continuous at Sea Deterrence, or CASD. The purpose of this posture is not to prepare for nuclear war, but to guarantee that no adversary could ever eliminate the UK's ability to respond. That silent submarine somewhere beneath the world's oceans ensures that Britain's nuclear deterrent remains credible 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. The missile itself is stored in vertical launch tubes within the submarine. When ordered to fire, it is expelled from the tube using gas pressure, breaking the surface before its first stage ignites. The launch sequence is a remarkable feat of engineering, with the missile experiencing enormous acceleration within seconds. Once airborne, the Trident D-5 navigates via an advanced inertial guidance system, corrected by stellar navigation and updated with the latest digital processing technology. It's said to be accurate to within a few hundred meters even across intercontinental distances, an extraordinary achievement for a weapon originally designed in the 1980s. In 2026, the missile continues to be paired with the UK's own warheads, which are closely related to the American W-76 design but modified and maintained by the atomic weapons establishment at Aldermaston and Burrowfield. These warheads are mounted on re-entry vehicles that can re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at several kilometers per second. The destructive power of even one missile is unimaginable, yet its purpose is purely deterrent, to make sure that such power never has to be used. The Dreadnought program, which will replace the Vanguard submarines over the coming decade, is designed with the D-5 in mind. The new submarines will feature upgraded missile compartments developed jointly with the United States, ensuring full compatibility with Trident well into the mid-century. This transatlantic cooperation underscores how integral the Trident system is not only to British defense, but to NATO's wider deterrence framework. The UK's independent operation of Trident still relies on close technical collaboration with the US Navy and defense contractors like Lockheed Martin, which produce and maintain the missile's complex systems. Of course, Trident has always been controversial. Critics argue that maintaining a nuclear arsenal is expensive and morally questionable, especially at a time when conventional defense budgets are under pressure. Supporters counter that the system's very existence helps prevent major conflict by making the cost of aggression unthinkable. In 2026, as new global tensions emerge in the Indo-Pacific and Eastern Europe, the argument for deterrence remains as strong as ever. Technologically, the D-5 stands as a masterpiece of engineering precision. Each component, from its solid rocket motors to its re-entry vehicles, has to perform perfectly under immense pressure and temperature extremes. The missile's three stages burn sequentially, propelling it out of the atmosphere and along a precise ballistic arc before releasing its warheads, which then glide independently toward their assigned target. In less than 30 minutes, it could strike from one side of the planet to the other. Behind all of this stands a network of dedicated personnel, 
from the crews aboard the submarines to the engineers and scientists who maintain the system. Their professionalism ensures that, even in 2026, the United Kingdom's nuclear deterrent remains safe, secure, and effective. Every patrol, every launch test, and every inspection reflects a level of discipline and responsibility unmatched in military operations. In a world where hypersonic weapons, cyber warfare, and artificial intelligence are reshaping the nature of defense, the Trident D5 still represents something timeless, deterrence through certainty. It is not a weapon of conquest, but of stability. Its silent patrols beneath the oceans remind the world that peace sometimes depends on the quiet assurance of overwhelming strength. As the dreadnought submarines prepare to take over and a new generation of sailors stands watch beneath the waves, the Trident D5 remains a symbol of both technological mastery and political resolve. For Britain, it's more than a missile. It's a message, that even in uncertain times, the nation will always possess the means to defend itself and deter the gravest threats to its survival.